welcome to the big one, Carlsberg versus Tiger. Which is better? SG Alcohol Guy here, making use of my wines and spirits certification to give you honest reviews on the alcohols that I am tasting. And today, like I mentioned, it's going to be a big one. Carlsberg or Tiger? Now the reason I'm choosing these two beers is simply because um, in terms of the analytics from my videos, these are the top two searches, which means most people are interested in these two. And while I like both, I've never actually done a side-by-side -side comparison before, so I figured, why not? So this video is to find out, once and for all, which is the king to me. Now, for both of them, I managed to buy them just before the Lunar New Year, uh, 24 cans carton. Both of them were roughly around $36 per carton. That makes each can for both brands $1.50, right? Singapore dollars $1.50. And both are 320 ml cans, and both come with 5% alcohol content. Identical. Uh, it's just that one is from Asia Pacific Brewery, and the other, well, it's from Carlsberg Brewery. And packaging-wise, um, for the Lunar New Year, Carlsberg wins. You know, they've they've added in the the foo that you know I mentioned in the previous few videos. They've also added in um, these four Chinese words here: fu, so an kang, uh, prosperity, longevity. Uh, peace and health. This four Chinese words does not say Danish Pilsner. But yeah, you know, they've got four sentences of wishes with just four words. So, you know, hands down, the design already wins. So again, this is from the Carlsberg Brewery, 150 Singapore dollars per can. And this one, not many words, not too many pictures, uh, just tells you no drink driving, always a good point. And also 150 Singapore dollars. Alphabetical first. So we'll start with the Carlsberg. Okay, as usual, I like to pour my beers in such a way there's a lot of foam in the glass. This ensures that the foam is not in my stomach. Tiger next. So, you know, they breathe for roughly the same amount of time. Same thing, the way I'm pouring is such that, you know, the foam is in the glass, not in my stomach. I really don't like to be too bloated. Plus, you know, I don't think you want to hear me burping throughout the videos. Now, as usual, for all comparisons, I will be using a glass of water. This is to cleanse my palate in between the glasses to ensure a fair tasting. As you can see, color-wise, um, this is actually slightly lighter yellow. This is a hint more amber, just a bare hint of it. Um, you know, not, not very noticeable until I'm holding them here side by side. And scent-wise, the tiger smells a little bit fresher. It has a, a refreshing scent. This one feels a little bit heavier compared to the tiger. But without further ado, taste test. Next, Tiger Beer taste test. Okay, so my review is this. The Tiger Beer, slightly darker color, but a slightly cleaner scent. The Carlsberg, lighter color, heavier scent. Taste-wise, the Carlsberg is lighter than the Tiger. The Carlsberg ended a little bit just after my throat and there's no more taste beyond that. So the taste lasted only an, until here. The Tiger, uh, there's a hint of it at the back, there's a hint of it down here, it didn't go all the way down as well. Uh, you can feel it here, the bit of the beer feels here, but this taste is stuck in my mouth. 
But taste-wise, I tend to prefer something that lingers. So for me, between Tiger and Carlsberg, Tiger's got my vote. And I'm not saying that because it's the year of the tiger, which it is, uh, but I just really prefer this taste. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, do help me click on the like button, uh, do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and of course, drop me some comments. Which do you prefer, Tiger or Carlsberg? And let me know why. In the meantime, happy drinking.